In this video, I'm gonna be providing a demonstration on monday.com. I'll be going into all of the features inside of the system, briefly explaining how those features work and how they can be applied to real world business as well. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be very familiar with monday.com and what it looks like, and also be able to make a decision on whether it is the right system for your business. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Uh, just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into monday.com for the first time, this is the screen that you're gonna be presented with. Now this is the home screen. If I'm honest, there's not as much information on here as there might be with other CRM systems. You're not presented with any data, unfortunately. But you can see you've got your inbox, which is just information about what's going on inside of the system. You've got your recent board, Sony projects that you've been working on, and you've got your workspaces. And I'll come on to all of this in a moment. But firstly, what we wanna do is we wanna get away from this particular area. We want to then head over to our workspaces up the top left hand corner. This is where you're going to be using or spending most of your time inside of the system. This is the most useful area of the system. So as you can see, we are on the example workspace up the top here. If I use the drop down menu, you can see that we've got a couple of different workspaces. Your business can use as many workspaces as you'd like. And they are very, very useful because it allows you to split up the different parts of the business all the different projects you're working, or however you like, but it gives you the opportunity to just divide the system um, between different areas, and it completely separates those areas. And it also means that you can grant or remove access for particular users into particular areas or into particular workspaces as well. So if maybe you've got a sales area, a marketing area, a HR, a finance, and you don't want the marketing guys to be able to go into finance or something along those lines, you can approve or remove access accordingly. So that's what workspaces are. As you can see, I'm in the main workspace at the moment. Uh, sorry, I'm in the example workspace and I've got a few boards here. So boards is essentially where you're gonna be managing your projects or managing information that you wanna be tracking inside of monday.com. So at the moment, I've got a few different options and I'll, I will come onto these in a moment. But firstly, we've got our example board. Now. When you create a new board and you just press the add button and press new board, this is exactly what is gonna load, okay? So you've got your item and that is essentially just information that you wanna be tracking on your board and you can see you've got different lines of information. So they're each individual records and you can track relevant data associated with each record. So if you press the edit button, you can change the name. So I'm just gonna call this example item and then you can assign a person to this particular project or task you've got status and you've got date. Now this is the most basic level of monday.com. When you create a new board just up there, it's just gonna give you the most basic, basic information. Now we can customize this to our heart's content. And in order to do so, you just need to press the plus button up the far right hand side here. You will always find it on the far right hand side. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you, if you press the plus button and go to more columns, you can see we can add our own data now. You'd wanna do this if you are tracking inf any information that you wanna be storing as a business. This gives you the opportunity to create those columns, add them to the board, and then you can input that information for that particular record or for that particular item. So to give you an example, we can add a numbers column, and this is where you can uh, do revenue, costs, time estimations, you could add a date, you could add long text, normal text, you could add a checkbox, a link maybe to their website perhaps, absolutely anything. The, the list goes on and on and on. So have a play around, see what is there if you're using the system, if you've just signed up. Um, but it is very, very useful. And the thing is, it's a lot easier in monday.com to customize a system than it is in a normal CRM system where you'd have to create a sandbox environment and then check it to make sure you've not broken anything and then go live with the system. This is far, far easier to do. Anyone can do it just from the get-go as well. So let's say I add a numbers column to the board. As you can see, it's literally just added there. I can change it, so maybe I wanna say price. I'll just call it anything. And then I can use the drop-down menu and then go to settings, customize numbers column and then I'll change it to pounds, for example, or, and then if I just put a thousand in, 
that will change it to a thousand pounds and then it will sum up down the bottom here very very clever you can also change the function so you can do count non average things like that this is where you can start customizing your own boards and again like i said start tracking your own information we also have the integration and automation options available here you can automate the board so if one thing happens then change this every time period create an item when a group contains more items than value notify someone you've got load load loads of different options here and you can create your own if you'd like you can just create your custom automation options if you are feeling confident enough um, that will make a massive massive difference it will stop the uh, users in the system having to just do those tasks over and over and over again which take time they're annoying and they might forget things like that and like i said we can also integrate so we can integrate like mailchimp gmail slack loads of different options with our monday.com system making it even more powerful making the transfer of data available easier quicker more efficient and that's obviously just going to improve the efficiency of the business the efficiency of your team as well that's covered integration and automation now if you've just started in monday.com and you've just downloaded or you've just signed up sorry not downloaded that's a bit old school but if you just signed up you probably aren't going to want to go and create an example board or just a basic board because you might be a little bit overwhelmed you're not sure what the options are what i would strongly recommend doing is just going to the plus button up the top here and go to choose from templates now monday.com has very very kindly created hundreds of templates that we can use to just get the ball rolling to start using the system straight away now these areas up on the side here they've, they've honestly they've made templates for loads of different things i can't really go through them all as you can see single project campaign planning event management i've done videos on a few of these you can see loads of different options okay this will this pre-populates a load of columns that they think will be useful to manage that particular project and then from there you can make that decision over time as you start using the, the system on whether they are actually useful so i've already added a few examples i've got content planning and i've added the crm so if we go to content planning they've created this board this is a template board that they created in which we can use to manage any content so as you can see blog email if i use that drop down menu post website article anything like that so we just write in the blog post we assign someone to it so who's in charge and then from there we can select a status so working on it proofreading pending review has it been published we can select the published dates when we want it to go live brief files link to content time tracking loads of different options okay so that is why you would want to use one of those templates i'd strongly recommend it especially if you've just started because you start using it you'll get an idea and a feel for the system you'll see what's working what's not working and then from there we can start adding our own custom columns like we just spoke about earlier in this video just press the plus button go to more columns and then maybe there was something additional that you wanted to track you can do that or you can remove something that you don't need maybe you don't need the files area or the brief area just press the drop down menu and delete that particular area of the system so that is very very powerful the other example i wanted to give you was the uh, crm cut side of things in the system now if you're not sure on any of this i've done two videos i've done a monday.com full training tutorial and I've done a video on how to turn monday.com into a CRM system. I go into detail on each of these, so deals, contacts, accounts, and leads. But I'm just going to quickly go over everything. So you've got your leads, and this is obviously where you just chuck any information in. And then once they qualify, uh, that you then transfer them into an account, which is all your businesses. And then your contacts as well, which are all the individuals associated with that business. And then your deals, so they're any sales that you might be making. We're on the Kanban view here. As you can see you've got a few different stages but if we go to the main table view you can see there we have the um, all the information that we want to track deal length deal value close probability all of this information is available that is again very powerful let's say you wanted to use monday.com as a crm system you don't have to spend loads and loads of time trying to set it up and work out what works and what doesn't that is the beauty of the templates area okay and then from there like i said you can start customizing if we go back to the content planning quickly, I just want to go over the views. Now we've got loads of different views. Kanban view, we've got team workload, content planning calendar, so that would just be a calendar view. 
Um, we've got content assets, so they're like files. We've got content dashboard, so that's information about the content planning. If I go to the Kanban view, again, Kanban view is going to be useful for some things, maybe not so much for others. If you use the drop down menu, we've got other views available, my tasks, and um, we can create a content request form as well, or we can just have forms in general. If I go over to the leads area, there'll be a form available. Uh, where you could embed that on your website if you press the share form button um, and then anyone maybe you'd have a landing page that uh, is directed through ads or traffic or anything like that they could sign up and then they would be added to the leads then you get on the phone to them and find out whether they'd be interested if they qualify then you convert them to a deal you can see where this story is going so very very powerful tools inside of monday.com um, and then moving on from this kind of area in the system as you can see you can filter search sort records and things like that as well we've got our inbox up the top our notifications and our my work page so notifications inbox and my work notifications is being just being updated on anything that's been changed as you can see hey nick borman deal one is expected to close on February 7th, 2022. Maybe someone should reach out to them. It's just automations and any updates, okay? We've then got the inbox. This is, um, if there's kind of like a messaging means inside of monday.com, and this is where you'd be updated on information that is going on. I will quickly demonstrate that, sorry. If we go to the workspaces area again, just go to any item on any board, click it. You can see here we can like write updates about that particular uh, item or that particular person. We can add files, we can see their activity log. If we press the plus button and um, we get additional options like we can send quotes and invoices, we can add emails and activities so you can email them from here. You've got loads of different options but if you are um, just having uh, updates about that record, that would then show up in the inbox area, okay? So that's what the inbox area is for and then finally we've got the my work page. Now I'm a big fan of the my work page. Essentially it will show you everything that you need to do um, past dates today this week next week later or anything without a date you can also customize it as well to only show you uh, things that you need to do for particular boards things like that and um, really helps you break down your work keep on top of what you need to be doing and then finally we have down the bottom here this is where you can invite your team members that's the apps and integration area like i spoke about you can search anywhere inside of the system just using the search option and then down the bottom we have our admin, so my profile, uh, recycle bin, archive. Uh, we've got admin options as well. So hopefully this has given you a good insight into monday.com, what the system looks like. Uh, hopefully my explanation will be useful to you in deciding whether this is the right system for your business. Um, and I'll see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now very familiar with monday.com, um, all of the features inside of the system and whether it is the right system for your business or now you've got a better understanding of why it might work for your business. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to just drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.